Now that you guys have understood uh, recommendation systems and how they work, let's get into the coding part. Now I'll show you guys how to implement a movie recommendation system. For this, I would like to introduce you guys to two functions which are the crux for this project. The first is cosine similarity. It is used to identify how similar are two pieces of text. And then count vectorizer is used to quantify the pieces of text. Uh, before getting into movie recommendation system, I'll just show you how these functions are used. I'll be using Pandas, Number, and Scikit-Learn, which are the major libraries used for any implementation of project in Python. Okay, let's get into the coding part from sklearn dot feature extraction dot text let me import the count vectorizer function yes he is capitalized count vectorizer and then uh, let us also import the cosine similarity function dot pairwise similarity now that we have imported both the functions let's define an array which will contain two phrases for us to work and use these functions let the first phrase be london paris london and the second phrase be paris london and paris now uh, let us define a count factorized object now uh, let's initialize a variable called count matrix we will use the fit transform property on the count vectorizer object whose input will be the text the array of phrases uh, let's now obtain the similarity scores So we just have to use the cosine similarity function and input the count matrix. Let's print the similarity scores. Let me save it uh, and let's build it. Yeah, as you can see, it has uh, outputted a two by two matrix indicating how similar are these two pieces of text. We can see that the diagonal elements are one. Uh, the both of the diagonal elements are one because uh, a phrase is 100% similar to that because those both are the same. The off diagonal elements have a value of 0.8 which indicates that there's a 80% match between these two phrases. Get into the actual implementation of the movie recommendation system. For these I'll be needing pandas, numpy and scikit-learn libraries. Let me start by importing uh, each one of them. First let's import pandas as pd pd just happens to be the placeholder so instead of having to write the whole word we can just write uh, pd the two letters and then now let's import numpy as np oh, these okay and then now from scikit-learn dot feature extraction property and then we'll go into the text properties will because the names of the columns are text and then we will import just a second we will import the count vectorizer object then again from scikit-learn dot um, matrix dot pairwise we will import the cosine similarity function which is used to know how similar are two pieces of text now using pandas we have something called as data frames which happens to be containers for holding the data so that we can manipulate and work on them. Let's start uh, with the first step. Uh, you can comment in sublime text by using the hash key. So the first step is to read the data file. In our case, it happens to be a CSV file. Let's define a data frame. And then using the pandas, we use the read CSV method and we give in the name of the file. The name of the file is movie underscore dataset dot csv. Now that we have our file in the data frame, as I told you earlier, we will just be using few features for the case of simplicity. So the second step will be to select the required features. 
so let's define an array called features for now i'll be using uh, keywords then uh, past genres director these will be the features using which we will be recommending movies to the user the data set there are many columns in which the entries are null values or nan which stands for not a number so to to get rid of these values we will be using a function called fill na which will help us to replace those null values with any other object that we want so first we have to loop in the features array and then let's go into the data frame select each of the feature and then we will have to replace that feature with a null value so which is just an empty string so here the parenthesis inside the parenthesis there's nothing for the fill in a function because we want any in values to be replaced just by an empty value but if all the features are separate so to simplify the procedure i will be defining a function called combined features which will take in as argument a row and then it will combine all the columns for that row uh, i'll be using a try and accept so that it helps during debugging let me first uh, try and then i'll be returning the row the first column is keyword plus is used for concatenation let's give an empty value uh, which acts as space then again we will be selecting the second column which is last again concatenation i'm selecting the genre column again giving a space the last column is the director column oh, i forgot to give quote for the genre <coughs> now that i've finished this uh, let's give accept as print to go to the next line print error and then it will print the row which has the error so this is the function which is used to combine our features now let's actually call this function let's go to the new line we will define a column called combined features in our data frame on the data frame we use the apply method on the data frame and we call the functions here we specify access as one because we need to combine all the columns for every row by default access value is zero by specifying it as one it will combine all the columns for a specified row now uh, we have the next step is uh, step okay wait just a second this was step three where uh, we combine uh, all the features into a single column in the data frame this will be step four here in this step we'll be creating a count matrix from this newly obtained column let's first initialize account vectorizer object this is how you initialize an object then we first have to obtain the count matrix let's define a variable called count matrix and then we use the fit transform method on the count vectorizer object where we pass in 
the name of the column as combined features. Now coming to fifth step, we will be computing cosine similarity based on the values in the count matrix. So here let's define a variable called cosine sim which uses the cosine similarity function and it, it takes in as argument the count matrix okay now that we have computed the cosine similarity uh, i'll since we are implementing a content based recommendation system we will need the past users data so that based on that we can make an according prediction let's define a variable called movie user likes which says uh, which user the movie likes that we know let's take avatar for example now from the excel sheet or the data we have we should be able to obtain the index for a specific title so that we can manipulate on it and then we we would also need to obtain the title based on index and index based on title so i will be defining few helpful functions for the same okay let's uh, define the helper functions Help functions. First, I'll be defining where we get title from the index. It takes in the input as the particular index, and then it will return the title. So let's go into the data frame and select the index which matches the index. This double equal to is. Let me write in comments so that it will help for you double equals is the comparison for equality operator we go into the index we select the title column and then we access its value and the first value so the index will be zero as you know index starts from zero let's define other function called index from title So we will be using title. So we will be checking for equality in the title column and accessing index column and again accessing the first value. Now that we have implemented the helper functions, first we should be able to get the index for the title avatar because we know that the person likes the avatar movie so that we can uh, index into the data to obtain the movie index we will be using get index from title then the name of the movie is movie user likes for similar movies let's define a variable called similar movies we will form a list where we will be enumerating all the entries enumerate of cosine sim cosine sim is the variable where it has the value of the of how similar the values in the count matrix are so we need to index into that it's given by movie index out of all the list we will be obtaining the similar movies where the cosine similarity is similar to that of the movie index now that we have done this okay uh, let's define step six as get index of this movie from its title now let's go into step seven you need to get the list of similar movies in descending order so that the first one will be the most similar to, to the movie avatar and the last one in this list will be the most dissimilar from the movie avatar in the descending order of similarity score 
so similar to score indicates how similar are two entities so we just have to sort for this so let's define a variable called sorted similar movies where we will be using the inbuilt sorted function similar movies is the list of all the movies that are similar and then we know that in python to implement any function we can use key equals lambda we can implement a lambda function such that we just need to take the second column because the first column is the index the second column is a similarity score since we need to arrange in the descending order of similarity score we'll be taking the second column and since columns starts from zero second column would mean one then reverse would be true because we will need the order to be in the descending order now this will be the final step of just printing the titles of first 50 movies let's say let's define the counter i equals zero and then let's loop into the whole list of sorted similar movies let's print so now that we have the index we need to get the title so we can use the helper function that we have already defined and then let's go into movie we need to access the first column because index gives the first column and first column means zero and we need to increment so i equals i plus one if since we only need the first 50 entries if i is greater than 50 we just break let me save and build this whole project which is building here yeah now that we have obtained the output let's check see the first would be avatar because avatar is more similar to avatar because both of them are the same the second is guardians of the galaxy then aliens star wars clone wars volume one star trek into darkness star trek beyond alien lockout galaxy quest gravity jupiter ascending we have all the list of 50 movies so as you can see this is a very simple movie recommendation system that we have implemented in hardly just 56 lines of code i don't think you will find such a small movie recommendation system anywhere over the internet so if you enjoyed watching this video and learned a lot please consider giving a like for this video and please subscribe to my channel